Hello everyone. Today I'm starting a science learner book for uh, grade 3 and this is the workbook. So I want to exercise uh, solve the exercise from workbook. So let's start. This is uh, for grade 3. Unit 1 and lesson 1 alive or not alive. Focus look at these pictures draw each one in the correct group the table you can see the table in the on the next page like here alive you need to draw here the pictures and not alive you need to draw here the picture otherwise you can write the name we cannot draw so match live or not alive how I know the things that are alive or no alive living things or non-living thing living thing can move have a uh, need air for breathing have senses there are seven characteristics for this so mystic not alive huh you can say once alive because mystic it's made of a wood and wood it's a part of a tree so we can say once alive but otherwise we can say there is no option of one alive so we can say not alive so living thing and non-living thing mostly three living things plants all kind of plant animals and human other mostly all the things are non-living so matchstick non-living river plant cloud clock sheep tree and cactus plant so let us write the name on, uh, on the next page about living thing and non-living thing or alive so we can write here if you want to draw obviously you can draw it for alive or living thing we have sheep and after this we need to, we have uh, the picture of the plant tree and cactus And after this, uh, on the other side, non-living, not alive, we have uh, river, cloud, after this, a uh, matchstick, a match, and clock. So these are non-living. So you want to draw or you want to write both correct. Next question, next page number four. There are seven life character or seven rules to tell if something is alive or not alive. These are the seven characteristics which tell us about living thing and uh, non-living thing. How non-living thing? Because if you make the opposite, it tell us about non-living thing. So a living thing, if, uh, or you can say anything alive, it can move, need air and water and food and need uh, its grow okay living thing or you can say it's alive so if it can grow uh, it's uh, it makes waste uh, you can say excretion what is it when you are eating you need to go to washroom so you're making waste in your body so the remaining thing which is uh, useless for our body it's come out and excretion method so this is make waste need air oxygen it's very important for us so this is important for living thing for plant carbon dioxide uh, have senses we have mostly five senses plant have three senses five senses like uh, touch sight hear taste and smell and uh, we uh, have young have baby reproduction in plant and animal and in human so these are all the characteristics for living thing look at uh, the things in the table use the ruler to decide if there are they are alive or no so a cat these are the life characteristics if all of them is correct you can make it so let's start starting from the first one 
a cat can move yes can move need water and food yes cat need water and food and uh, growth yes making waste yes need air yes can uh, have senses yes as young yes alive obviously alive the moon the moon can move the moon can move yes you can say move okay need a water and food no so skip it or make cross after this uh, grow no make waste no need air have senses has young alive no not alive so this one all cross or skip it like this a tree uh, move yes it's grow upward not moving from one place to another place so grow upward it's move need air and water yes after this uh, grow yes a tree make waste a tree like you can say the leaves it's make waste sometimes need air yes i can have senses have three senses yes three senses young have seeds so you can consider as young a tree and alive obviously like a dolphin fish same like uh, the above is all characteristic for a living thing, dolphin and art for both all of them are you can make correct because the living thing mostly they have all of these characteristics like this let's move uh, to the next page number five Question 2B part Complete these sentences using uh, your answer from the table Pick one thing that is alive and one thing that is not alive So I know Dash is alive because What is alive and because I know Dash is alive because Write any name I am writing a cat I know Cat Cat is uh, alive because it can it can move or it, uh, it needs water. I know dash is not alive. Rock, rock, stone, anything is not alive because it it can't move. Look at the picture below. We can see the picture and you can write it here. So wood alive or no? If lie, I just make circle. Uh, wood, no plastic, building, block, drain, fan, just scrap, alive, and first one. And three also. Other no. After this, we are moving to the next part. These are all I think rock spawn, crab, and uh, tree. Rock, no fan, other no. Sometimes rock spawn also no. The next page sort the thing show in the picture above into three groups. Show in the table below. Draw each thing in the correct. You can draw or uh, just write their name here we can see about uh, once alive once alive mean like table table made of wood and wood uh, it's a part of uh, okay, it was a part of a tree so so we can say like this thing once alive so living thing we write the name like uh, box bone. And uh, grab a grab and tree like this. Uh, once alive, only wood. And uh, never alive, we have to put things like rain. 
pen, rock, and plastic. Plastic block, building block or block, you can write all of these, right? 